<laughs> I've only been sitting here a few minutes and I've already been sneezed on several times. It's iguana snot and it's really salty. What they're actually doing is excreting the salt that they take in when they ingest all that seaweed. Uh, getting it from all angles here. By basking, these iguanas will have raised their body temperature to about the same level as mine. It will help keep their core tissues functioning underwater. All around me, the iguanas seem to be heading for the sea. They've been sunbathing for a few hours, a little hot, probably a little bit hungry, and they're ready for a swim. And you know what? So am I. But how will they shape up as freedivers? From the moment they take the plunge, these reptiles are cooling down. And if they stay at sea too long and get too cold, their metabolism will shut down and they will die. But their first obstacle is the swell breaking against this exposed shoreline. It's when those long claws really come into their own. Although they're only grazing in the shallows, it's not an easy freedive, as the swell really throws me around. But the iguanas seem used to it. They dive as we do, with their lungs inflated full of air, which might maximize the time they can stay underwater, but it also makes them buoyant, so it's sometimes a real struggle to stay submerged. They swim using their strong snake-like tail to power them down. They rarely hold their breath for longer than five minutes, and most only dive for about one minute, usually to a depth of only a few meters. In that limited depth and time, they must find a suitable clump of seaweed and devour what they can. in the water and the iguanas are actually quite hard to spot but when you do see them it just changes your opinion of them completely they are so graceful underwater there's all these big boulders just covered with seaweed and now uh, you just swim along and there's a big iguana just munching down on a rock amazingly this prehistoric freediver shares something in common with us humans when the iguanas dive their heart rate slows by about 60% that's not unlike me when I free dive, but I gotta say, it's quite hard to keep my heart rate under control when I get up close to them. This lowering of the heart rate is a phenomenon known as the dive reflex. It's a subconscious reaction, triggered when receptors around our eyes and mouths are submerged. It's a primitive trait, one we've inherited from a common ancestor. <laughs> 